Hi all, hope you're all well. Um, just a quick catch up to show you what I've been doing between Christmas and now. Here's a moulding I've had for a few years. His name is Eric the Viking and he is the mascot of our club at Farnborough War Games Club. I've given him a little bit of a paint job and he's turned out okay. Um, I'll probably use him with my Saga Viking Army. Hopefully he'll give me a little bit of luck. Um, some more painting I'll be doing is with my uh, Saga Byzantine Army. Um, with the change of rules from version 1 to version 2, don't need warriors um, spearmen, but they need to be levy and also bowmen as well. So here's some um, spearmen I've painted from Gripping Beast. And I'm quite pleased the way they've come out. Um, yeah, they look the part. <laughs> yep, and I managed to pick his eyes out as well, which is always good. Um, I've also painted some bowmen. I painted 16 of these. Um, again, I had eight originally, so now I've 16. So it means I can have two units of 12 levy bowmen um, to bolster my numbers because the Byzantines really need levy. I completed them, these figures, I, I compared them with my existing ones and I noticed that my old Byzantines, um, all the flock had faded so I had to re-flock them all so they looked the same. And here you can see I've got two units of 12 levy bowmen, I've got a unit of 12 levy spear, and I've got four more, but really and truly I need another unit of eight. I've been looking for a new project for a while, and I've been playing Age of Hannibal, um, using my um, Greeks as Greeks and as Carthaginians, and I've proxied some of my Welsh Irish um, as Gauls. So I've decided to paint a Gallic army. Um, they play completely differently to the Greeks, look kind of fun, so I'm going to give them a go. As anybody knows me, I'm not a great fan of um, plastic figures, but I thought I'd give them a go. And I saw these Warlord figures on um, eBay, and I was going to bid on them. And then I spoke to a good friend, Bob, and we spoke about the mouldings, and they, they're really strange. Some of them are bent over double, and some of them are standing with their shields held out wide and almost in a crucifix stance and it just didn't look right. So I followed his advice, um, didn't bid on them and I bought some Vitrix. So they're in the post on their way at the moment. Now anybody who knows me, I'm a terrifically slow painter and I need to speed up, particularly with a new army. So I've got to go in with a new mindset. I've seen Dom and other people use these contrast paints and can paint armies at a great speed. So I've decided to give them a go. So I've bought a load of figures um, and I'm going to try them. I'm going to try minimalizing the detail and see if I can maximize the output and just see if I can get an army on the table nice and quick. It's going to be a bit painful for me, but I want to try. I hope to um, record a few more games and upload those soon. I'm also going to look into black powder as well on a smaller scale and see how I can get on with that. Other than that, I hope you're all well. Um, take care and hopefully speak to you or see you all across the table soon.